What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, I just want to go over these basics, man. I want to go over these freaking basics. Shout out to Teresa and her daughter, Samantha. Just got off of a strategy call. Um, these are already clients of mine that I just wanted to kind of extend, you know, just more knowledge and just more time to them. They reached out to me and they're like, and they're like, David, you know, why aren't my leads converting or why aren't my ads converting? Right. They're hoping for leads. They're hoping to, to capture information from, from potential people. And so they set up a call with me today to kind of go over why. And so I wish I recorded it, but I, I didn't. Um, but it was a call where they were stuck and they were just like, man, what's going on with these ads? Why aren't, are, are they not converting for us? And there was a, a, a ton of stuff that I, that I, that I, uh, revealed and that I kind of just looked at and I'm like, man, here's why, here's one reason, here's another reason, here's the other reason. And I literally went over a few different reasons why that ad was not performing and why none of their ads were, were actually performing. Um, and I wanted to kind of share with you guys. So this one right here, requirements of generating leads with Facebook ads. Here are just the basics of what you guys need to implement. Okay. Um, or need to know, I should say they're running this ad, right? Let's say for example, this is a listing. And when I click on it, I'm brought to a page that looks like this. And this is, this is number one. This is the, the first thing that they were doing wrong. Right. And this is the first thing that, that most people do wrong is they'll send me to a page like this, which is a beautiful website, but there's a million things going on. There's a million things going on. And, and you guys already know, a lot of you guys that are watching this video, you guys are direct response marketers. You guys are online marketers. You know for a fact that, okay, this isn't where you want to take them. Um, and that's problem number one. Problem number one is that they were taking me to a full-blown website. Now, they're promoting and marketing this one listing, but when I come to their website, there's so many more listings that I can look at, right? All these right here. So so right away, there's the problem. Right away, you're, you're completely taking that consumer you're taking their attention off of that one property and now you're putting 15 more in front of their face it's like dude i was interested in the one like i was interested in the one all of a sudden i'm seeing a million other others that are probably maybe would fit my criteria and fit my interest but i wasn't even looking for that and now that you're sending me here and now that i can look at all that and i can look at all these other ones and there's so many more properties i can look at it's like dude my attention span is so short and you just lost it. Like I'm gone, right? Because there was just too much going on. And, 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 and so that was problem number one is that they're sending me to a website and not a landing page. You got to be taking people from this, from this ad, you want to be taking them to one page. So whether you want to, you know, whatever the heck you want to title it, that's not even the, the importance. It's, it's this template. You're taking someone from a Facebook ad to this one single page. Okay, this is direct response marketing. This is straight to the point. You're interested in this property, and that's what I'm going to show you. Okay, enter your information. That right there to a lot of you guys is super, super basic, but I'm telling you, so many small business owners are still missing it. They're taking me to a full-blown website and wondering why they're not capturing the lead. That was problem number one. Problem number two is that they didn't even know if this was their Facebook pixel. So this pixel that's on their page, they don't even know if that's their pixel because number one, they don't even know how to find their pixel. So that was problem number two is that they're running ads looking to capture leads, but they don't even know if that's their Facebook pixel. That's problem number two. Your Facebook pixel has to be on this page. Okay. Now, problem number three was the fact that they were running that ad under video views and it was a video. So I'm showing you guys an image, an image ad, but they were doing videos also and they were running those videos under video views, wondering why their videos are getting hundreds of views, but no leads because you're telling Facebook, get me the views. Facebook is very clear. It's very straightforward. What do you want to pay for? Do you want to pay for traffic to get people to your webpage? Do you want to pay, pay for conversions to get people to opt in? Which is what 99.9999% of you guys are looking to do, get people to opt in. That's conversions. Or do you want to get people to just engage with your posts, like, comment, share? 
or do you want to get people to view your video? So in, the, in this case with Teresa and Samantha, they're running videos under video views, wondering why no one's clicking on the link, coming here, and why no one is giving up their information because it was ran under video views, okay? That's, that's not what you want to do. And so what I explained is, is the fact that it's still important. It's, it's still super important to run video views because that allows you to create your custom audience around people who are viewing it. So then you can then retarget those folks in the future with more ads under conversions, okay? It's conversions that you're going to be running for lead capture, okay? So if any of you guys are driving them to a landing page, it's conversions. But here's the thing. As I'm now explaining conversions to them, I'm saying, okay, here's what it's all about. First, we have to set up that custom audience of everyone who's going to land on the thank you page. And then also what's super, super important is as they come to the landing page and I told them, I said, hey, Facebook doesn't want to know your goal. They want to know your ultimate goal. So if I asked you guys right now, what is your goal? Your goal is to capture a lead, right? Your goal, that, that's, what you, that's what you would tell me, right? Your goal is to get them here to capture the lead. Facebook wants to know what your ultimate goal is. What's your ultimate goal? Okay, so if you're just thinking about it, what's, your, what's my goal? My goal is to get them here, David, right? My goal is to get them to this page. Facebook wants to know what your ultimate goal is. Your ultimate goal is to get them to fill out the damn form. So once we click on show me the, send me the details, your ultimate goal is to get people here. That's the goal. That's the ultimate goal. That's what Facebook needs to know. That's what Facebook wants to know. They want to know your ultimate goal, not your goal. Okay. So with that being said, this thank you page needs to be set up. This URL needs to be set up as a custom conversion. Okay. That's what's going to allow you to run conversion ads. So if you don't know how to set up a custom conversion, I'll tie that video to the end of this one. Watch that video. That's how you set up a custom conversion. I have to set up the custom conversion first in order to run the conversion ad. Facebook needs to know, okay, what is the thank you page? What's that confirmation page? What page do you want us to drive people to? What's the ultimate goal? And it's that right there. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys, man, is that if you're looking to capture leads, don't send people to a full-blown website. You have to start sending people to one page, to a single, single web page. And again, not only does your Facebook pixel need to be on this page, but your Facebook pixel needs to be on this confirmation page, which is the thank you page. Your Facebook pixel needs to be on this page as well. And it needs to be set up as a custom conversion. As you can tell right here, I have Facebook categorizing it because I set up a custom conversion. I have them categorizing this under lead. And how do I do that? How did I do that? I grabbed this URL of the thank you page and I set that up as a custom conversion. And so watch that video at the end here. That's going to show you how to do that. So then when you come in here and now you click on conversions and you go and run this conversions ad, it's in the ad set section where we can now tell Facebook about that page. Okay, so it's going to be up in here. As we scroll through, it's going to be right here, missing conversion events. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose that one page that I set up, which it's not in this account, this ad account, but if it was, it'd be showing right here. Okay. In fact, let me show you, let me show you in this other account. Um, just so you can see what I'm, I'm talking about. I think it's in this other account. Um, 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 okay. So now that I'm in this other account, so let's go to, let's click on conversions. We're looking to capture leads or we're looking to make a sell, right? Um, it's conversions. And so we come over here and I think I have it set up under this one. So we click on continue and then it's this ad set section right here. And we're gonna scroll down. Okay, so right here, 
obviously right here is where I could put any custom audiences that I set up. Um, but then down here, where's the damn conversions? Oh, here we go. It's already by, yeah, by default, it went there. So if, if I X this out, it would have been red. Okay, so it's red. Okay, so this is where I tell Facebook, hey, the ultimate goal is to get people to this page right here. This is the one that I set up as a custom conversion, right? So when people land on this thank you page, this thank you page, I'm telling Facebook, this is the lead. This is where I'm, this is my ultimate goal. This is where I'm looking to get people to. It's not just that opt-in page. It's not just my landing page. No, it's this thank you page. That's what I'm going to tell Facebook. So that's where I would put it in right there. And I would just continue the process. And then I would retarget any custom audiences that I may have set up. Click on, click inside of here and it'll drop down any custom audiences that you already have. And then I can retarget any of those previous people who landed on a page or who watched a video, any custom audiences that I have set up, I can retarget them as well. And then of course, you know, target any other location, but it's conversions. You guys, it's conversions. It's taking people to a simple landing page and that's all under, um, capturing lead, capturing a lead or making a sell. Now, if you're not taking people to a landing page, then for sure you can go with lead generation. You can capture leads under lead generation and, and that's when you use Facebook's form. And so the pixel on any page wouldn't be necessary because you're not taking them to any page. You're using Facebook's page and that's lead generation. So you can generate leads under, under lead generation. Um, there's just a few more steps. Like when you capture the lead, that lead is inside your Facebook business page. Then you have to, ex you have to export that lead. Then you have to import it into CR some CRM and hopefully you have a CRM or you have to import it to some email autoresponder. Hopefully you have an email autoresponder, but you want to take that lead off of Facebook and put it into, into some type of database. And those are just more steps than I care to um, have to facilitate. And that's why I don't normally go with lead generation. But if you don't have any third-party software, then, then you can capture leads that way. But everything that I'm pertaining to is, is capturing a lead or making a sell um, by taking people to a third-party page, a landing page, okay? And that will be conversions or you, can, or you can run traffic as well. Traffic is your goal. The goal is to get people to your landing page. That's traffic. The ultimate goal is to get people to fill out the damn form. That's conversions, okay? But again, make sure that you have that URL of the thank you page. Make sure you have it up, set up as a custom conversion, okay? You set that up as a custom conversion. You run conversion ads. Um, and at this point, when you're running conversion ads, I would have ran some video views first just to get the audience, right? Or maybe even run some traffic just to get that pixel firing and get, get Facebook knowing who the heck the people are are. Who, who, who they are and, 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 and what type of people they are of who's even landing there in the first place, right? So you could start with traffic. A lot of people will start with traffic to get people to the landing page to start getting some data to the pixel. And then they'll turn around and retarget those people who landed on the landing page with conversions. Now, now those are people, now Facebook has some data. Now Facebook knows, okay, this is the type of person that, that is, is normally landing we can find more people like that to convert. So there's a process to it all, you guys. It's not just putting one ad out and thinking you're going to capture leads. Like there's a few steps. The conversions, again, set up your custom audiences, set up your custom conversions. With traffic, for sure, set up your custom audiences. Let people, know, let Facebook know, hey, and that's what I did over here. So for example, if I go back to the, to the actual um, landing page of this one. So this is the thank you page. This is the landing page over here. I have my Facebook pixel on this tracking everyone who, who lands on the page. So if I wanted to, I can run traffic to this page just so I can start getting Facebook's pixel some data. So I can start telling Facebook, Hey man, here's the type of people who are landing, create an audience of those people. So I can then retarget them in the future with conversions. So it just depends on how you want to how you want to get the data to Facebook. Do you want to run traffic to to the landing page to get that kind of data to Facebook, or do you want to run video views and get thousands of people to view your videos to have that kind of data that Facebook needs to then retarget that audience, that custom audience, with conversions? Okay, because that's where your lead capture is going to come from. It's going to come from conversions. 
But again, just make sure that that custom conversion is set up. Make sure your custom audiences are set up and, 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 and run those ads, you guys. But that's required. Requirement to generate leads on Facebook is, is to run conversions, but first set up that custom conversion. Okay, so wait till the end of this one. You'll see it pop up at the end, you guys. Custom conversions. Get that thing going, man, and keep it simple. And if you're not taking people to a simple page like this, you're probably spinning your wheels just like Teresa and Samantha. You're probably spinning your wheels wondering why no one's opting in um, because you're probably taking them to a full-blown website where there's nowhere to even opt in. And at the same time, that full-blown website is super overwhelming to the average consumer and no, one's, no, 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 one's, no, no one cares about any of it. So keep it simple, you guys. Keep the attention on one product. Focus on that one product. Get all the attention there. Have them inquire about that one product. See, what I told, what I told Samantha is I said, if I go with um, this one right here, look, I click on it and it's taking me to the full-blown website, right? It's a listing. It's a listing. So let's, let's say I go to, rather than taking me to this full-blown website, where there's a million things going on, okay? And this is the first thing I'm seeing when I click on the ad. Rather than taking me here, take me to a page like this one, okay? So you're promoting a listing. You're promoting this listing. Take me to a simple page like this. Get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. A, a few bullet points. View all 17 photos now. Send me the details. Once that person opts in and once you have that lead, then send them to this full-blown website, okay? And again, make sure that this full-blown website, make sure your pixel is on it and make sure that this URL is set up as a custom conversion, okay? Then you can run conversion ads for this listing and that would get people to obviously opt in. All right, you guys, so I know that was a ton. There's a few steps, and I just truly believe that these are basic steps that most people miss, and they wonder why they're not capturing leads on Facebook. Okay, so watch this video popping up at the bottom, you guys, custom conversion, set that up. Comment below, man. Let me know what you guys are going through. Let me know what type of struggles you're having, what type of roadblocks you're, 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 you're experiencing, and I'll do my best to really break it down. Um, in video and, and walk you through it all. All right, you guys, so um, watch this next video and I'll see you guys there.